Hey, this is Grace Pamela at Summerna.com and I'm going to show you how to load and quickly use um, Photoshop brushes in Photoshop. So I am in Photoshop CC right now and I'm going to show you. Um, this is just a fairy dust brush that I used in the Summerna shop. And I'm going to show you how um, to get this effect when you have these brushes. So I'm going to show you how to load them and I'm going to show you how to quickly use them. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do is download your brushes and unzip that file. After you've unzipped it, um, I recommend organizing them somewhere on your computer or your external hard drive or wherever you prefer to do that so that way you know where they are located on your computer for when you bring them into Photoshop. A lot of people, when they purchase brushes or um, anything like that, they tend to think that they would just show up in Photoshop so then they go looking for their brush and it's not there. Um, that's because we actually have to go in and manually upload them. But it's really simple to do and I'm going to show you how to do that. So there's two ways that you can get to your uh, brushes. So first you're going to want to click your brush right here. You can see it's, uh, if you hover over it, you'll see that it says brush tool and it's also, um, you know, the shape of a brush. It's pretty easy to find. You can right click and just in case you don't see the actual brush, you might see a pencil. It just depends on what you were using before. So if you right click, you can see that there's a couple that you can choose from and you're going to want to select this one. Once there, um, there's two ways that you can do this. You can go into edit. Um, actually, you wouldn't even need to click this if you were going this option. So for this option, you can just go to edit and then you can go to presets and preset manager. Select that and then you will have um, your preset type and you can go in and select brushes. Um, so these are all the brushes that I already have uploaded, but I'm going to show you how to upload them um, yourself. But I'm going to show you also the other way that you can do it. You can select your brush tool and then you can click this little drop down arrow right here and then select this little wheel here and here you can go to preset manager that way. So it's completely preference, whatever you decide to do. Um, some find one way easier or faster than the other. Either way, it takes you to the same exact place. Um, once there, you select load. And here, um, this won't just pop up. I have it set this way so I can quickly show you without going through my entire computer. But it's not just going to pop up unless it was the last thing that you used in Photoshop. So what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna go to where you have your brushes loaded. Um, so it could be like, I like to put mine on my external hard drive and I have them organized, you can see in folders. So I have um, actions and brushes and I put all my actions and brushes in that folder and then I have it narrowed down to each individual one. And then um, because it comes with brushes and actions, uh, it's in one more folder on top of that, which is just the brush. Um, there might be more than one brushes, there might be just one, uh, whenever you find your brush or whichever brush you're trying to load in, in this case I'm going to be loading in the fairy dust brush, um, you can select it and select load. Another thing you can do is if you're having trouble finding it, um, your brush, you can just go ahead and search and the file type for a brush is ABR, you can see right down here. So you can go ahead and search ABR on your computer or in your external hard drive or wherever you think it might have downloaded and it might bring up all your brushes and you can upload it that way. Once you have it there, you select load. And now if you scroll down, you'll see I uploaded it twice. Uh, and you can delete them too. If um, They never used to have them organized in these folders, but it's kind of nice now that they do. If you don't want the folder, you can go ahead and delete and select OK. And then you'll have just the brush. And then if you want to, you can move this brush um, up higher so it's a little closer so that way when you're looking for your brush you don't have to search all over for it or if you want to organize it in here or organize it however you like. Um, or you can just delete that and you can keep it more organized in the folders. So now you have your brush uploaded and it's in your preset manager. So you can select your brush and select done and then here we have it um, selected. If you don't have it selected, you can do the drop down menu again and you can kind of go up and down in here and look for it. 
You can also make it bigger by dragging the little corner here so you can see it a little better. And then you can look for your brush that um, you just uploaded. And then you can select it. And there you go. Now we have our brush selected and it's ready to go. Okay, so now that we know how to upload our brushes, I'm going to quickly show you how to use them. Um, each brush is completely different um, on how to use them, but the basics are pretty much the same. Um, if you're using Samurana brushes, we have individual video tutorials on how exactly how to use them and get the most out of that brush. But um, and we also have like action collections that help you, um, you know, better make use of the brush without having to do too much work. So I'm just gonna show you really quick how to use it. I'm just gonna really quick set my fairy dust layer. And what this does is it just sets it to the best setting for this brush. So if I were to just paint it right on this background layer, um, I can't really do any customization to it. And I have to, um, once I do that, I can't really get rid of it unless I click undo or go back into my history. So I like to create a new layer and you can do this by going to layer, new, layer. And then here you can select the blending mode that might work best. So I'm just going to show you really quick. If I color, or if I, you know, draw my brush on here, um, you can mess with the different blending mode to see the different effects it might give you. Now I have mine set to the one that I think works best for each brush. So that's why, um, you know, those actions are there just to make it a little easier. But that's how you do it manually in case you don't have the action set or any action set for your type of brushes. Okay, so now that I have those, um, my, my screen layer selected, I can go ahead and select my brush. I got my brush that I want to use selected and I can select a color. Now I can use any color from um, my image or I can go ahead and just choose around, pick around in the color picker box and then select OK. Once I have that, I can use the bracket keys on my keyboard. Um, the left one makes it smaller, the right one makes it bigger uh, for my brush size. Otherwise, I can also adjust things like the opacity of my brush up here, the flow, um, and also the sizing. Whatever you need to adjust up here manually, you can also do. Another thing you can do is you can go into your brush settings, and if you don't see that option there, you can go to Window and then go to brush settings and select it. And then here you'll see all of your brush settings that you can also mess with on um, the sizing, the spacing, the hardness, all of that fun stuff. Okay, so once you have your settings the way you like them, you can go ahead and start painting uh, your brush on. So you can either select it in different areas or you can drag it. Just, it depends completely on the actual brush. If you make any mistakes, you can also you can always undo or go into your history and go back up. Or you can also go into a layer mask. This is also why I like the action because it sets it all up for you. If you don't know how to add a layer mask, you just go down here and select that. And you can select a soft um, black paintbrush and it will erase that for you. You can either um, if you have the original fairy, if they have the same brush set and you have it black, it will erase it um, the same texture as your actual brush. So you can see it's erasing it, but it's the same texture. So that's also a neat way too if you're working with something that you want to add a little bit more texture to. If you want your brush um, to be even brighter, so it's already at 100% opacity and my brush is at 100% opacity and it's just not as bright as I like it, you can um, right click and select duplicate layer and then you can kind of make it a little brighter or not so bright but you know a little bit more brighter if you like. That's one uh, trick I like to uh, use for using my brushes. And if you have the action selection, you can, collection, you can also go in there and play with the settings. Um, that's why I like to keep them on separate layers, so you can fully edit them exactly the way that you want. 
you can also go in and change the color if you don't like it or all of that fun stuff. So yeah, that's the basics on how to use um, Photoshop brushes. If you have any questions, um, feel free to message me at any time at support at Thank you so much for watching.